Today's video is with Andrew Manns of Manns Organics and I visited Manns Organics back in the spring. It was actually the first operation I visited on a long string of farms throughout the Midwest of the US, but this was the only Canadian farm that I visited. And this is an amazing large scale regenerative farm. And there's a few other videos with Andrew here on YouTube if you want to check them out. But in this video, he's showing us his solar powered weeding tractor where it's powered by the sun and three people can lay in it and basically finger weed the little area that's right next to onions that they direct seed, which is interesting because they do a lot of storage crops on this farm. But this is a small video of a very large two videos that I did with Andrew at Man's Organics and there's a ton to learn from this farm. I can't wait to visit them again actually because they're so innovative in the space of regenerative agriculture. But if you're seeing this video right now, you're seeing a long string of videos that I'm producing over the next 15 days up until October 18th that are all segments of my membership site from the field dot farm. And I would urge you to join it if you do enjoy my longer form and hyper detailed content because that's what From the Field is all about. Each week I publish a video that's between 45 minutes to an hour and a half as the featured video and then I'll often publish a few smaller subject videos that are small segments of that main video that show just a couple detailed things that somebody might have mentioned that we can use for uh, searching in the future to look for something specific. I also do a Q&A each week where I take members questions and sometimes I take half an hour to answer one question. Depends how detailed it is but I only do that for members. We have a forum in the site. There's a whole community in there and there's a ton of value in it if you are interested in this kind of stuff and you're building a business or you want to start a farm. This is more about educational content. So it's not quite like an online course and it's not quite educa uh, entertainment. It's somewhere in between, but it's super detailed. And if you want to join up, there's a link in the show notes. The first 30 days that you sign up is sort of a, a forgiving period. So if you, if you decide you don't like it, you can quit. You get your money back. Uh, no questions asked. So again, that's in the show notes. Sign up before October 18th if you want to join us at fromthefield.farm. All right, enjoy this one. So yeah, four 250 watt solar panels. And uh, this machine has evolved since our original one with a, uh, we actually had a um, small generator on it powering the electric motors and then we we revised it significantly since then so hydraulic steering you guys just made this from scratch yes so this is uh, entirely home but we'll look at the uh, come have a close-up of the the uh, I'll look in the back first so it's, it's way more complicated than it needs to be but that's what happens when you start with the design and you keep changing it so no. Um, solar panels, charge controller. So charges, we've got, I think, just five deep cycle batteries. And then we go from there to a 4,000 watt pure sine wave inverter, which powers a 240 volt DC drive motor controller. So we go back and forth with voltages too often. So we lose some efficiency. This is a rear end from a three ton truck we had, an old three ton truck. So that's actually the rear end for differential. And this is the original five speed transmission. So we have a full five speed with a two speed rear axle with a full three horsepower DC variable speed uh, gearbox. So we just took, took the uh, drive shaft out and made it, well, non-existent <laughs> and then straight in. So we of course have the gearbox and the uh, transmission standing vertical. And then if you want to look around the front here, here's where we have our DC drive motor with a gearbox. So that's the drive is on the top there of the transmission and driving down. And then here's our just our five, just standard deep cycle 12 volt batteries. Nothing fancy about that. What we're doing here is basically on any given day, we really generate enough with this that we're not relying on batteries to drive because if you do that, you need a lot of batteries. If we get a really overcast day and we were gonna drive it for 10 hours, you might run low, but otherwise we've got to probably almost, almost double the capacity of generation as what we're actually drawing on a given, uh, yeah. There you go. 
got it all shaded out. Yeah, so these are roll-up curtains, front, yeah. back, if you want, on one side or other side, or, yeah. yeah. Wow. And they're just leading particularly close. Yes. This cultivation's gonna get anything else. Correct. All they're looking Correct. It's, all, it's really know. what's in that row is where is this concern, yeah. Right. That, uh, that was a big improvement. I think we kind of designed that last year. We found some old uh, truck headrests and we made them on a, uh -huh. yeah. Yep, yep. So. Wow. So how much time will they put in doing this in a day? Uh, if I have, well, we'll switch out the crew. Okay, because so, so somebody's not doing that for 10 hours a day. It yeah. does happen. It does, yeah. Yeah, okay. um, but we tried to keep it switched up a bit. And uh, right at this, this is kind of the critical time of the year to stay on top of it. I like to have it run 10 hours a day. Yeah, five days a week. Yeah. So, and it, it probably, in, in 50 hours, we can probably do the five and a half acres one time. So we're almost done the, the, this bed here. So three more will be done the second time around and we'll just start right over. Wow. So it's, it seems to be a little easier um, to keep up the speed and not necessarily get them all and then come back, right? Kind of get the big ones and rather others you just have to crawl and then when you get here, it's overrun. We've, we've been overrun too many times. We've learned the hard way and it's, it's not good. Right. We've rotor tailed in an acre or two before just because you're too far behind. Right. Yeah, so we're, we're just, we're trying to be almost overly cautious and we're not, we're good, but we're, we're really trying to make sure that we stay on it because if it rains for three days, you're standing still for three days, it's muddy or anything happens or we get way too busy with something else happens on the farm, you stand still for a week and you're just suddenly, it's like, yeah. you think, oh, whatever, what's one week, but the weeds keep growing. So it's and the old, it's yes. the old cliche, make hay while the sun shines. Yes, so you it's- You gotta attack it when, when the time is good. Yeah, yeah. Who's, who's driving the direction of it? Is it the one on this side, yeah, he's the, so you heard that little noise before? That's yes. the hydraulic power pack steering the front okay, wheels. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can actually see the shift stick sitting there. It goes into the back, so if they turn around, they can actually shift to. Oh, okay. So actually, the thing is, it can drive from, well, they're actually cruising right now. Yeah. It can go a lot slower, but if you need to drive it to the yard, you can actually go like 10 kilometers an hour if you go into right. high speed and then right. give her, so, right. yeah. Right the beauty of that.